He's great. I love him to death. Um, all right, dude. I can't believe we have this right now, Blake. Are you ready? Uh, I don't know if it'll work. Or I can't get it to connect. I can't connect to the thingy. Oh, no. Faster. Take a second, because this is my favorite part of this. Actually, the last segment of the show may be my new favorite. But this part of this segment is pretty good, too. And now we've got a surprise to go along with it. Yeah, it won't let the remote thingy won't connect. Oh, no. Oh, no. Do I need to do it on I'm here? Very intrigued. Yeah. Okay, okay, fantastic. I can do it on here. No big deal. That means I won't be able to do the thing. Is later. it at the top? Uh, Secret? Yeah. Do I uh, close it and then yeah. open it? Yep. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. It's time for... Music Conspiracy of the Week! 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 Music Conspiracy of the Week! Week! So, did you see that? That was pretty cool. So that I take it you told it. him that that was going to be a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And he had it yeah, set where he just pressed earlier. the button on his phone. Yeah. Yeah, it won't connect. It was <laughs> so cool. <laughs> the thingy won't connect. Yeah, I didn't know that he was going to tell you. I thought it was just going to happen. Oh, no, he told me. He showed me earlier. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I was very excited. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> this is episode 21. Now we got graphics. And we're going to have a graphic for every segment. News and conspiracy of the week. Okay. Travis Scott. Let's hear it. Hmm? <laughs> Everyone's talking about it. Might as fucking well. I mean, I'll like, say this much: I okay. never, I n had never heard of Travis Scott until uh, he inadvertently killed a bunch of people at his concert. <laughs> Today is the first day I've heard of Travis Scott. Oh really? Wow. <laughs> yes. This oh, you haven't heard the story? He yeah. had a he had a McDonald's meal back in the day. Yeah. Hi he, everybody. He was the first one to get a McDonald's meal. Ooh. Was so, he the first one? Yeah. Hold on, let's catch her up to the story real quick. So Travis Scott is some artist. Don't fucking know uh, what he does really. Don't fucking know. But um, <laughs> so there was a festival in Texas. Yep, Texas. Somewhere. It's his festival. And yeah, and um. Astro World, and it's like Astro World. It's like the fifth or sixth year. He's, yeah, he's done it for but a while. But there was like this like instance where people started going crazy and eight people died and nine now nine yep okay nine people died and like a dozen That's people metal. got sent to the hospital um and it's unclear exactly what the fuck happened like, and everybody's trying to now sue travis scott and all yeah, this there's suing and this is my piece on it first i was like Man, people tripping. And then I went and watched, watched the, the performance, like 20 minutes of it. And I was like, there's no way you could have tell, told that the, the, the crowd was surging forward. Yeah. And I'd already heard NPR journalists who were there to journalize the motherfucking event. Who they said they didn't know people had died or anything happened until they got home. And they were in the crowd. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I don't know. Uh, Travis, I mean, it's like Travis a mosh Scott pit of 50,000 people. So which we've like, been in. We've uh, been in. Yeah. You know I what I mean? It's really there. But it's like, but if people are like getting knocked over and dying, it's not like you're going to know because all you can see is the head in front of you. Well, I okay. So I've heard enough of shit about it since then where I, I, I feel like I need to take a deeper dive. I took a shallow dive uh, and now I need a deeper dive. Did y'all hear about the bodyguard that got injected in the neck? I think someone no. told me that may have been disproven. I don't um, know. My, go ahead. Uh, I, I took a deeper dive earlier, and I saw that talking about the bodyguard thing. And from what it was, so there was a bodyguard that stepped on some needle or something was the actual story. Is that what happened? Yeah. Like, he didn't get injected with something. He did He did get to have to be checked what? for, like, tetanus and shit. He <laughs> stepped on a needle? Yeah, there was a needle in the fu uh, like there. Was and he like, was, what, barefoot? <laughs> in flip-flops? I mean, but I my guess. thing is, is I, I, I still feel like as a musician, Obsessed. like, okay, he may have been opening a portal to hell. The jury's still out on that. I don't know. He, he may have been doing some crazy. I, that and I do want to keep looking into it. I don't like, just for funsies, there's a lot of weird conspiracy shit, conspiracy shit going on around it. But as a musician, like, just from the videos I saw, there seemed to be no way to tell that people I, were getting fucked up. And even if he had his people be like, oh, there's people getting injured, it's like, well, that's I, I was like, dude, I've got a Drake feature I just paid for coming up. You know what I'm saying? Like, as an artist, you know what I mean? It's like, 
that's why I've got medical people here and shit the like that. The weird thing you know was, I mean? is like, I saw videos when I was watching the videos, there was different, like if you went Damn, and watched I the, seen that. like the bits yeah, of the full that. concert, you can see where a lot of times they were cutting some of the things out during the concert. Like at one what point, you mean cutting them out. Well, it, uh, like on previews and stuff that they showed on news channels like they would cut some of the bits of like the concert out to show the smaller bits of it and he did i mean like there was moments where he did like you could tell that he noticed people were down in the crowd apparently there was and one point where he's like hey he help him out at someone right there like in the front of the crowd trying to get someone over to help them because he saw it mm. and, but that's normal like you know you'll it, like that might yeah. normally happen like someone gets hurt exactly so you get the Pe- people over there to do it and continue yeah, on I mean, Fifty thousand people on drugs yeah, yeah. that's legit, what happens at know. every festival not just i'm Astro sorry you let your fucking nine-year-old to a goddamn yeah, travis scott concert that it is it is sad at least, but you I was shouldn't have that. at least they shouldn't be in the mosh pit because no. that like, shit is legit you shouldn't have had them front row why were they front why were they up like up, up in the it, front well it's well, sad that there's a naivety about what happens at festivals but yeah it's really what happens at festivals well in yeah. my brain my people brain do goes, lots of drugs first of all it's travis scott he wouldn't have been big brand, he but big to young people if they hadn't have hyped him up as like a McDonald's meal and all this weird stuff to make Travis Scott seem like not like terrible for children because he's not a, that that's like a he's like a weird terrible rapper EDM artist guy like he's like all of his music is not for children whatsoever yeah I mean I don't know I'm not a I don't know no, oh, I'm not, by the way no by the judgment way. to the to the parents but yeah like and yes it I is mean, a tragedy to the kids uh, here's a lesson to everybody out there but for and I hate that you, anybody has to learn the hard way there are so oh many fucking God. drugs at festivals. You don't want to like start conflict with people you don't know at festivals. That's like an yeah, easy thing because yeah. you just don't know where people are at psychologically. You don't want to get in the mosh pit, especially if you know you're not like uh, ready for claustrophobia and all this shit. Um, but no, I definitely, my heart definitely goes out to the kids. Obviously, I don't want a kid to die. I don't know. I don't know. Let me say this before I, before I go on. The uh, <laughs> the bed the photography background is done by a wonderful photography or uh, photographer named Alexandria Gray. Everybody should go to our Flickr account. We're gonna make sure to tag it up and make posts about it in our Facebook and Discord. So thank you, Alexandria Gray, and sorry for the late mention uh, on all of this stuff. But thank you so much for doing your for letting us uh, use your stuff. Uh, anyways, sure. so that was like weird. I sorry, I had to say that before I forgot again, <laughs> and it was in the middle of such a heavy ass topic. I'm just saying this. Okay, here's my conspiracy. There's lots of conspiracies out there, so I've got to put my two fucking cents on it. Okay, I don't know if there was a portal opened or a sacrifice or a secret club with McDonald's and all that. I I say sure, maybe it's all possible. Look into it. I don't, I don't, I don't maybe, uh, but I can't help but have the feeling. That this is just one more way of making people afraid to get out. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm listening to different yeah. news media yeah. on it, and everybody's like, oh, now you can't be in a concert because you could die. And I've had hardcore drug-fueled festigoers I've talked to, to just today who are like, man, it makes me kind of worried about going to a concert. I'm like, God well, damn, and y'all are so hardcore. So I agree with that because that's never the thing. I've been to a festival. I need to go. People die at festivals uh, every year. At Bonnaroo Festival, people always die at Bonnaroo. Yeah. Always. There's literally yeah. the last two It happens last every two single time. It happens, someone's died. It becomes a small it's city. It's normally only like one or, or two Or a big people. city, really. Or a big town, a big town small city but overnight. Like, it, Not a it's, lot of people. Yeah, honestly, near a hundred thousand plus. I mean, it's twice lo- as big just as like, It's like hun- tens to a hundred thousands of people all in one spot, heavily on drugs, heavily dehydrated. Yep. Yeah. Um. And yeah, and like super crowded. Blinding lights everywhere. Situation. It's dark as fuck. With flashing like, lights every fucking. They've got where. like medical, basic medical shit, but they don't have any fucking doctors for miles. And like this you know? is also like, especially like his thing. I have like EMTs and shit. A lot of the, those. His Maybe thing some was such a small form festival, but with so many people there. Well, apparently, from what I'd seen, it grow. It has grown every year, and he yeah. was meeting, complying with all of the growth. They like, you got to expand this, expand this, expand that. And from what I've seen, they were doing that. I just hate it because I feel like it's going to make festival throwers less hesitant to do festivals. It's going to make festival goers less less uh, desiring to go to festivals, which, y'all, the festivals have changed my life because of this woman here, my wife, Fable. 
Uh, I, she's the reason I go to festivals. She's the reason why we throw festivals. And I want to bring one of the biggest, most rewarding things we did before the pandemic was bringing uh, the festival to the underprivileged areas. That was like the best shit in my life was bringing that feeling yeah, yes. to places that I grew up in. You know Don't what I mean? And doing it for free. Fuck yeah. And we're definitely going to be doing a lot more of that. Uh, but yeah, I just hate to think that, yeah, people are just going to be scared to do it now. You know what I mean? I've got. Fuck that. I'm not scared. People are already scared to get out. Really bad. 